sorry. Too fast for you, buddy boy? The nursing home just called Ronnie. They want the scooter back. Scooter, that is a tricell lipo pack under my hood, son. Hey! Ooh, sorry, my bad. Okay, I will trample you. Well, I'll trip on your skirt. Oh, you okay? I could have dropped him. Sorry, we didn't know anyone was around. You sure you're right? Come to think of it, what are you doing down here anyway? I'm trying to get Torrin to sleep. I find that walking him is the best way to calm him. Ooh, it's colicky, huh? Well, Dr. Keller says it's a phase that will pass. Oh, don't worry about it. I was a colicky baby, too. You just do what my mom did, which is let me cry myself to sleep. I'm no worse for it. Because they eat normal food when they're young. Exactly. Then at some point, they lose the ability to sustain themselves with that food. So it's a teenage thing. Pimples, rebellion, life-sucking. Something like that. The question is, what causes it? If it's due to some chemical deficiency, like a diabetic's inability to process sugar, then it's possible it may be addressed with some kind of drug. You do not fear them? Right? <laughs> now, clowns, that's another story. Scare the crap out of me. Sorry if I woke you. Just came by to see if there's anything you needed. Magazine, fresh towels. You hide your fear poorly, Major. You know, we've been having these conversations for a couple of weeks now, and I don't even know your name. You guys do have names, right? Let me guess. Steve? I am your death. That is all you need to know. I prefer Steve. Hi. He's awake again! I am now. Yes, we're here. You're late. Sorry, sir. I had to go into space and pick up some frozen goods. Whatever. Where are you now? You've got Colonel Shepard, Ronan, Taylor, McKay, myself, and Dr. Beckett. Ooh, Dr. Beckett, is it? Well, I'm comforted. What's that supposed to mean? Okay. Ready to open the lock. We've got a plan, sir. Good one. Yes, Colonel. I'm sure you do. But in the unlikely event you don't fail miserably, you're fired. Yes, sir. But before to that. Have you got a name? Okay, we'll go with Bob. Bob, I'm gonna need to know what you've been doing here for the past two weeks, and I'm gonna need to know now. How do you feel about house calls, Doc? <sighs> what if I could, Major Shepard? Well, you have to settle for long distance. I'm told you have something of a cling on. It's funny. <laughs> it's like the ugliest damn tick you've ever seen. I thought you said you were a runner. It's funny. I can usually barely keep up. What's with you? What's with you? Water? Hey, so a loser. I don't act like a jerk when you beat me. Yes, you do. Okay, then we'll go around again. Go ahead. Okay, Grumpy. I will. No sign of the rest of the crew. Whoever attacked the ship must have taken him prisoner. Including our friend. Stop calling him that. It's weird. Then what do we call him? I don't know. Let's go with Todd. It's a guy I knew in college. He's very pale. Todd's a terrible name. You got a better one? As a matter of fact, I do. You know what? Forget I asked. Colonel. You have fought the Wraith before? Lots of times. Won some battles, lost some. War's not over by a long shot, but we're managing to hold our own. And the clowns? Clowns. Oh, yeah, the clowns. 
Oh, we fight them too. Entire armies spilling out of Volkswagens. We do our best to fight them off, but they keep sending them in. Did you really think you'd be able to stop us? No, of course we did. Why else would we be here? Colonel, am I gonna have to fire you? No, sir. I think you'll have that to look forward to when we get back. I'm afraid your plan has been discovered, Colonel Shepard. It is over. Come on. Oh, we were getting along so well. Oh, autopilot. No, 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 no. R2, I need you to turn the autopilot off. Now. Uh, worth a try. What? On ZKM? I sent it to another planet for safekeeping. How stupid do you think I am? From what I remember, I gave you a pretty good crack on the head last time we met. Because I was kind of hoping it made you simple. No, it didn't. But ever since then, I've been plagued with headaches. You're just saying that to be nice. What do you want for it? I'll only talk with Weir. Does that make you nervous? Not at all, Major. I'm just not interested in talking to the errand boy. That's Lieutenant Colonel Aaron Boy to you. I still say this was a setup. I don't know. Kenny seemed pretty surprised when that ship disappeared. Who? Kenny, second command. Who well, says when did we start calling him that? Maybe he wasn't in on it. I don't know. If Todd wanted to kidnap Taylor, he would have done it the second we arrived. Doesn't add up. Seriously, the next time we have to name one of these guys, we should take a vote. So what are we gonna do? What do you want for it? I need about a hundred machine guns, a couple dozen grenades, and any C4 that you have to spare. Sounds like you're having a party. Explain, how is turning you into a threat in our best interest? Star Drive, Carson. Concentrate on the Star Drive. All right, I tell you, you may have to fight your way in. I'm ready, Colonel. Right, use your ARG sparingly. They may build up an immunity. We may have to go to plan B. OK, which one's that again? Never mind, just go. Neil. That would be really creepy and unexpected as if you knelt instead. Where do you come from? Until recently, uh, Atlantis. The ancestral city? Yeah, unfortunately, it was destroyed by the Wraith a short time ago. How tragic. Yeah, we're pretty broken up about it. We are part of a small group of people that were able to escape. Blood tests are normal. As far as I can tell, you're in perfect health. See? I told you. Thanks, Doc. No more touching strange things. Well, that's good advice. I don't know about you, but I'm exhausted. It's been a long day. Well, thanks for hanging out. Just wanted to be sure. You know, this really isn't as strange as you led me to believe. Oh, yeah? What about that? I hate clowns. <gasps> If you really want to help, why don't you just do that? They would know. Aren't you they? Please believe me when I say I was as deceived as you were. Oh, I don't know. I was pretty deceived. It seems, Colonel, that because of what you did to me, the Wraith no longer see me as one of their own. Did you get that thing working? Well, yeah, before they started shooting at it. So it's broken again? Well, it was powered up. I mean, 50 50 chance it's still operational. Provide me with cover. I'll make it to the pedestal, summon the beast, and smite them. There would be no smiting today, little lady. You've never even used that thing before. But I am the queen, and the beast is my protector. It's a little more complicated than that. Where did you get it? You mean the dart? We call them darts because they're so pointy. Tell me. Where? You are the Oracle. I'm your Oracle, yes. That doesn't sound right. I, I know this is difficult to absorb, but it is all true. My nice ship. A little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a fixture upper, but I can see the potential. Ah, 
not talking about anything drastic, you know, maybe just a paint job. Just throw pillows. Ow! Look, I don't suppose you want to tell me what's going on here. The reinforcements have arrived at the Stargate, Commander. Kill the Wraith on site, but I want Shepard alive. Well, we learned two things. One, likes me better than you. <laughs> Two, probably would have never made it to the Stargate anyway. Yes, it's time for bed. And remember tomorrow night, kids, another tale called Nightmare on Elm Street. All right, children, let's go. We are a patient race, Major. When we have taken our fill and gathered our strength, we will join in force and come for you. Do you have any idea when that'll be? Morning, afternoon? <sighs> I'm certain. Good luck. Thanks. I'll be walking the park. Very scary park. Filled with monsters who are trying to kill me. I don't understand. Never mind. This Shepard. I'm pretty sure you can't hear me, but I don't have a volleyball to talk to, so what the hell? In fact, um, he's back there right now waiting for us. We were just saying goodbye to Karis. You think I'm a fool? No. I just think you're a little cranky. When I'm free, you'll be the first that I feed upon. Okie dokie. I'm gonna go make myself a sandwich. I'm not good at this. What? Waiting to die. I don't think about it. I don't like small spaces. Could be worse. Personally, I'd rather die fighting. I'd rather not die. I'm just saying. Okay, look. If this rock burns up in the atmosphere, I'll fight you to the death myself. Deal? You're on. Take a good long look, because soon you're going to see nothing but taillights. Nice try, Speed Racer. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry, we were just, you know. Who's winning? I am. <laughs> yeah. Still colicky, huh? He was awake all day, refused to take a nap. That's not surprising. Got a full night's sleep. Yes, it's remarkable. He slept through the entire ordeal. He hasn't slept through a whole night in um. <laughs> Ever. Well, he can rest easy now, because uh, Michael's finally out of the picture. Unfortunately, there will be somebody else to take his place of this, I am certain. Well, he's got super mom watching his back. If you ask me, he's in good hands. <laughs> Torrin, you want to watch me kick Rodney's ass? Uh, 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 actually, you may want to cover the child's eyes, because uh, this could get ugly. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. One, mm -hmm. two. Hey, hey! <laughs>